In this video, we will cover the installation process for the Fabric Mod Loader, the downloading and installation of Fabric Mods, how to install and properly use Optifabric and Optifine, and how to fix any keybind mishaps that may happen with some mods. In order to download Fabric, you want to go to fabricmc.net slash use, and click the Download Installer Universal Jar. If your browser asks you if you want to keep this file, make sure that you do keep it. In order to install Fabric, you will have to go to the folder that it downloaded to, and double-click it. Select your Minecraft version, the most recent loader version, make sure that your install location is correct, create a profile, and click the install button. In order to download mods, I recommend you use CurseForge. It is one of many Minecraft mod download sites, but it is the only one I recommend. Other sites, such as 9Minecraft, can have malware sent along with the mod you download. While there are thousands of mods on CurseForge alone, you want to make sure you are downloading a Fabric mod. You can make sure you only see Fabric mods on CurseForge by clicking on the Fabric Sorting button. Many Fabric mods require you to also have the Fabric API, which is downloaded like any other mod. I will use this as an example of how to download any mod from CurseForge. Once you make it to the mods page, you will want to click into the files section. Different versions of the mod can be downloaded here, but you will most likely want the green R version, which stands for release. Make sure the mod version you downloaded is for your version of Minecraft, 1.16.4 in this instance. Click the download button, and make sure to keep the file if your browser prompts you. For some mods, like World Edit, they release both Forge and Fabric versions. Make sure you download the Fabric version. The Forge version won't work at all. In World Edit's case, they differentiate these with the release and beta icons. That doesn't necessarily mean that the Fabric version is a beta, it just means that they're using both of them in order to differentiate. In order to use the mod, open your .minecraft folder and look for the mods folder. Fabric creates that the first time it is launched. If you don't have a mods folder, you can just make a new folder called mods. Make sure that it's all lowercase though. To install the mod, just simply drag and drop the file you downloaded into the mods folder. In order to use Optifine and Fabric mods at the same time, you will need to download a specific version of Optifine and use a mod called Optifabric. I have linked the Optifabric mod in the description, and it's downloaded just like any other Fabric mod. Optifine, on the other hand, is only available from their website, Optifine.net. Go to their website, click the Downloads page, and click Show All Versions. Find the version for your Minecraft version, click the Mirror Copy, and then click the Download button. Make sure to keep this file if your browser prompts you. Once you download Optifine, you'll want to double-click on the .jar in your download folder. You will want to extract this version, and then put it in a place where you can find it, like your desktop. Once you extract it, it will make a mod jar version of the Optifine version you downloaded. You want to only use this mod jar version. Drag and drop Optifabric and your mod jar version of Optifine into the mods folder. In order to launch Minecraft, you will want to go to the Installations tab in the Minecraft Launcher and make a new install. Make sure when selecting version that you select the Fabric version of the, your Minecraft version that you want to play on. When you are ready to play, make sure that you select the new profile of Fabric that you just made, and then click the play button in the launcher. Once the game is launched, you will see in the bottom left corner, it will say your Minecraft version and Fabric modded. If you also installed Optifine and Optifabric, it will say Optifine and then your Optifine version above the Minecraft version and the Fabric. If at some point you, or your mods, mess up your keybinds, you can find all of your keybinds in the options.txt file in your .minecraft folder. From there, you can try and fix all the keybinds manually. If that doesn't work, you can try deleting options.txt fully and relaunching the game. It will create a new default version of that file, but you will have to redo all of your settings. That should be everything that you need in order to start playing with mods from Fabric. And Optifine at the same time. Hope this video was helpful.